Welcome to this Blackpool Music School video all about the ukulele. In this video I am playing a tenor ukulele but this technique will use on ukulele of any size. I am tuned G, C, E, A but any tuning is fine it's just that if it's a different tuning the chord names will change. So in the previous video I did the four easiest chords to play on the ukulele. This is the second most easiest four chords to play on the ukulele. So let's get started. In the previous video we were playing in the key of C. That's Charlie, the third letter of the alphabet. In this video we are playing in golf, G. So let's get started. For this you will need to know a G chord. A G chord is open on the G string, second fret, third fret, second fret. So going from the strings down, this is open, second, third, second, that is golf. To make it an E minor, echo minor, we simply add the ring, the little finger, sorry, to the third, fourth fret of the C string. So we've got, go, got golf like that and we are adding our little finger to the 4th fret of the C string, you do not need to take this one off because whatever's nearest this playing plucking hand rings so the fact that this finger's on as well makes no difference because this finger here is nearer this one and that is your echo minor Golf Golf So now we need two more chords. We need a C chord, that is the third fret of the A string, all the other strings are left open. So now we have golf, echo minor, C. Now there are two ways to play D7, both of these are valid, it's up to you whichever one you find easiest. So. I'll show you them both. Because I am playing the third fret with the ring finger, you can put your middle finger across and bar it. That's a D7. So I'm playing C like that. I put that over like that. And that now is a D7. So all, all together, it would sound a little like this, G. E minor, C, B7, G, E minor, C, D7. Okay, now the other D7 is called the Hawaiian D7. It is the second fret of the G and the E strings. The C and the A are left open. So it's like that. That's a D7, so it's the second fret of the G string, the string nearest to your chin. Skip a string, the echo string, the E string at the second fret also. That is the Hawaiian D7. So if we to play through that, we've got golf, E minor, C, D7, Golf, E minor, C, D7. So the other way around using the other D7, it's just the same again, golf, E minor, C, D7, golf, E minor, Now when you do the D7 like that, the Hawaiian D7, all you do is lift them two fingers off, move them both down one string each, and you've got your fingering for the G chord like this. All I did was move them down like that. So this is the second 
easiest set of four chords to play on the ukulele. To finish a song in the key of G, you can do this. You can either do, well, there's D or D7. But we'll just stick to D7 for now. G. So we've got golf. D7, G. So if you're finishing the song, it is sound like this. G. E minor. C. D7. Hear how it finishes nicely. Think of it this way, the D7 asks a question and the G answers it or resolves it. D7, G. Now you can do a D chord, G. That's up to you. G or G, sorry, D or D7, G. Again, in that sequence, you can use a D chord if you wish to change it to a, a sweeter sounding melody, like this G, E minor, C, D chord, G, E, C, D7. Can you hear the difference? One sound is sweeter than the other. The D can be changed to the D7 when we're in the key of G, golf. Now, you may say, how is this useful? Well, if you were to buy any bluegrass book or banjo type book, there, the banjo is easiest to play in the key of G. You can play in other keys, but most of their song books will be in the key of G for beginners. So if you buy a bluegrass one, more than likely most of the songs will be in the key of G. Now, let's explain something. Just because it's a banjo book, doesn't mean you need different chords. The chord shapes they show are for banjo, but if it says a G, that's a G. If it says C, that's a C. And if it says D or D7, that is a D7, or that is a D7. Or if it says D even, that's it. Just because it's a banjo book, doesn't mean you can't use it. You can use any musical book. People often get into the idea that if the guitar's playing G, we need to play in the key of C or something. No, G is G is G is G. As long as you're all playing in the same key, that's it. So this is the second most easiest four chords on the ukulele. Now, again, we are doing very basic stuff. The G. The E minor, the C, and the D7. If you, are, if you are as old as me, which is reasonably old, that is sometimes known as the 1950s, 60s ballad chord progression. You've probably heard it more times than you realise, and it's still used up to the modern day. It's just a pleasing four chords that go together. So that's G, E minor, C, D7. But sometimes you don't need the E minor. Some people just play G, C, D7. Some songs don't have that E minor in. So some songs just have the G, C, D7, G. But if you want to get playing really quickly playing a song, there's songs like Jambalaya, Ico Ico, Born in the USA, in Adios, Mexico, by the Texas Tornadoes. They are two chord songs, and in the key of G, you will be using a G. D7. So that's golf. D7. Golf. D7. Back to golf. If, if I can recommend something to you, try one of those songs like Ico Ico, Jambalaya, Born in the USA or Adios Mexico by the Texas Tornadoes and start playing a few songs. The moment you start playing songs, the more your confidence will grow. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to Blackpool Music School for more videos. The more thumbs up we get and the more subscribers we get, the more videos we will post. So until next time, take care, keep practicing, keep playing and as always, goodbye.